What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we showcase all kinds of crazy audience replays. As always, if you've got a replay you would like to see featured on the segment, you can put it in the Discord link in the description in the Edison format replays channel. Now, uh, starting off today, we have a pretty wild one. I don't know. We've always got wild ones, though, so it's all relative. Um, but we have Flamville Amaryllis, which I think I actually, like, tried to play a version of this before i even like fully had it like invented the amaryllis deck i was like messing around with this crazy fire pile with amaryllis um it was just like one of the many things that i tried way back in i don't know it was like like winter 2021 when i was when i was trying to build amaryllis um i think i had like volcanic counter in there and like a bunch of mill cards so i just figured i'd try the flambells or something but I don't know, this is probably going to be different than whatever my, like, half-formed version of that was. Uh, so, they have double whirlwinds, which is, ugh, crazy, right? But we have heavy storms, so it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we can go Fire Dog into Colossal Fighter, and that's definitely a problem for Black Wings. They're going to have to go Brianak or, or something to try and out this here, which it looks like that might be what they're trying. We're going to stack the Shura... So that means no Brio play. Okay, we can go for Hidden Armory here. We have Rekindling, actually. You know, that is the... The milling is so good when you have the Flambells and the Amaryllis stuff. It is crazy. Um, so Rekindling is going to summon two things here. Do we use the Mark? No, okay. We're just going to go straight Battle Phase. But yeah, this is really good. It's actually quite good. It's quite good. We get another Magician from deck. We get another level 8 Synchro. We still have Mark. The opponent's low life. Uh, we deliberately let our Magician get banished so that they can't hit over with Shura, but they can just hit over the, uh, the Stardust with the Kalut, and then make Armor Master. Bro, you knew about the Mark. Why didn't you make Black Rose? Oh my god. Smartest Blackwing player, actually. Actually, though. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool game number one. Now, this is just a, it's just a pretty solid Amaryllis hand, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, looks like we go straight in for, um... Straight in for Titanium, but that gets bottomless. Still holding the Foolish. All right, we're going to use it for Volcanic Counter. I mean, all right. I guess I guess we're both going to take 17. That's kind of a weird Foolish usage, though. All right, they hit into our Raikou. We're going to take 16. We, we mill another counter. So, yeah, this is just on the counter, which makes sense since you're playing more Fire Monsters. Um, actually, it is, a, like, a pretty cool build. Like, you just got this crazy mill pile. So many good mills available to you. Maybe I should try this. <laughs> it looks like it would be a fun thing to, uh, to attempt. I think the version I played way back didn't have... I hadn't discovered the equip spells yet, and they're, like, the best part. So maybe I should go back and, like, try and, uh, try and build a version of this deck. I don't know. It could be worth it. It could be fun. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, like, the Raikou milling the counter, like, the counter doesn't go off there. I think the timing of that is, is different. We're on Graviros. All right, that's cap. That card sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it, but, uh, yeah, that card is uh, mega questionable. They're just <laughs> they're just going to hit into the Volcanic counter because they're Black Wings and they kind of don't have a choice. Uh, so we're both going to take a ton of damage here. We go Raikou, kill the Armed Wing, go Magician. I would have synchroed straight into Brianak here and, like, started pitching things because look at our hand. I mean, it's just like a bajillion things we want to pitch. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. We're going to take 1,800. Okay, we try to attack. There's not... There is another D prison. That's rough. Fortunately, the opponent doesn't draw a piercer, so we have a shot here. We can Raikou kill and then mill three spell cards. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Okay, they mirror force. We just full pass. So if they draw a monster, we're just dead, but they don't. Unlucky. And we go for Rekindling, and they actually scoop because their set cards are Dust Tornado and Double Icarus Attack. Wow. Average Blackwing back row, by the way. They're always fake. They're always fake. They always have, like, three sets, and none of them do anything. It's crazy. Well, that's pretty cool. That was pretty, I, might, I might be, like, low-key inspired by this, honestly. Um, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool idea. All right, next up we've got... Okay, we're going to be looking at the Zooxid deck. That's right. Zooxid has released another Abomination onto this world and and people are playing it and it's our problem now so this is going to be the the chain beat deck that uh that he's chosen to terrorize the edison scene with in his latest um his latest cursed tech video so he's on gadgets in here by the way which is pretty funny i don't know if it's good but it's funny 
Um, it's just like kind of the same deal where you've got all these removal cards and then the gadgets just sort of replace themselves. So I get it. Um, but yeah, the main focus is obviously going to be the, the trap cards and the winged rhinos. Um, that being said, we are gadgeting our opponent to death. So that's something probably going to set everything. We set everything. Okay. End phase Phoenix wing. That kind of sucks. They choose to just tribute summon malicious edge and pass, get the draw with typhoon. Now we go for another gadget. Are we going to offerings to the doomed? It seems that we are. Yes, we are going to do that. Main phase two, they go for absolute zero, set pass. Dang, absolute zero is just so good because, like, it just trades with, like, three turns of tempo here. Man, that's rough. Okay, we draw into Mirror Force, but it's like we don't want to use it. We don't, we need to get more value out of it. If we're just gonna, let's keep letting the ab zero hit. Just keep letting the ab zero hit. Maybe if we can, oh, no. All right, we're going to mirror it at long last. At that point, I think he should have just set the D prison and used it. But wait, what? Did we just attack over the set Treeborn with dupe on the field? Was that dupe summoned by, like, Junk Synchron or something? Maybe it was. That's possible, I guess. I don't remember. I don't recall, actually, how that dupe came to be face up. We're just summoning some winged rhinoses. So now we're going to finally see some winged rhinos action. Opponent summons Caius. We chain... Good Goblin Housekeeping, and then we're going to chain our Winged Rhinos that was targeted by the Caius. Now he attacks into the other Winged Rhinos. That's just going to get run over, though. And uh, the Caius is getting swap looped. That's not fun. We draw another Good Goblin Housekeeping, though, so this could be potentially neat. We're actually going to get to draw two here? Or, yeah, we get to draw... Yeah, we get to draw two. And then we put back one, but since we have the gadgets, it's like we're not even putting back one. Well, or... You know, whatever. It's like you can put back a gadget and and you could search another gadget. It's it's like that. That's that's what it's like. So they're they're still swap looping their Kaias though, which is annoying as hell. Um let's see, we summon another gadget and then we get that gadget out of the deck. Now we're gonna swing with everything. I don't know why they didn't torrential there actually. I guess they just their plan is that Ab Zero outs everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Ab Zero does that everything. It does indeed, it's just that good. Uh we're gonna torrential the Ab Zero. Now we're going to summon Winged Rhinos, and it, they try to Torrential our Winged Rhinos, but we're just going to put it back to the hand with its effect. Actually, why did they Torrential like that? That was kind of wild. All right, they're going to hit with Uni. We're going to use the Offering to the Doomed. Oh, I guess we play this because it, like, shares the thing with Reckless, where you skip your draw phase. Uh, and then presumably, yeah, we're just going to we're just gonna draw with the Reckless now so that the draw phase skip doesn't matter so much. And we draw into more draw cards, which is neat. Doesn't this deck play Accumulated Fortune? How are we this deep and we never drew it, actually? I feel like it should. It definitely 100% does, right? There's no way. There's no way we don't. All right, our second draw phase gets skipped. We swing with Winged Rhinos. And now we're going to draw some cards to try and find some ways to not die. They end phase Raigeki Break. No, they hit our good Goblin. We're going to get to draw three. And they hit our good Goblin Housekeeping. Oh, no. All right. Well, we can still do this where we bounce, draw two. We need to draw something. We do draw something. Okay, man, this deck plays so many traps. So many traps. This deck and Uriah, so many traps. Super cool, but if they they flip Decree, you do lose, I guess, is the <laughs> the thing. All right, we draw into a Trap Dust Shoot. This is really bad. We actually just lose. We actually just lose because we can't stop that. Dang, but that was a long game. That was a long game. All right, so there's the Accumulated Fortune. This game, we actually drew it. Are we going to set everything? No, we are not, because, yeah, Storm would kind of blow us out. I'm not going to lie. We swing with the Winged Rhinos, and we set... Oh, no, our Accumulated Fortune gets End Phase Typhoon. We should have set both, man. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, we summon another gadget. It's all good. We get a gadget. Mind Crush is funny. I don't even know if Mind Crush is good, but it is true that you, like, always know a card in their hand. But usually if you know a card in their hand, it's because they're already plussed. Because it's like the winged rhino just traded with something or the gadget got it. So I'm not sure. We hit into a dupe. All right. Do we set the mask? We do set the mask. We don't flip it though. We're just like, if you want to tribute that dupe, that's fine. Makes sense. They're going to go into swap, send treeborn pass. We draw one here and then we summon another gadget, but we're out of gadgets to search because I think we only play two, two, and two. Uh, now we're going to dust shoot the opponent and we see that their hand is insane. However, we have the Mask of Restrict, so now these three cards are just, like, 
<laughs> they're just bricks. They're vanillas there. They don't do anything. They're not vanillas. You could summon a vanilla. They're like, what's a card you just can't use? I, I don't know. Think of an example of that. That's what they are. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to hit in with Stratos. And um, this time they actually remembered the dupe, unless I was wrong earlier, and there was a Junk Synchro on summoning that dupe, but you know, that's neither here nor there. They're going to try to out our thing with the Uni, but we have Mirror Force, so yeah, that's not going to work. We go Reckless. We draw into two Accumulated Force. All right, it's time. We're going to go hard. End Phase, Compulsory. End Phase, Chain. Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3, Chain Link 4, Chain Link 5. We're going to draw five cards, and we're going to bounce our Winged Rhinos. Yes, okay. So now we flip everything to attack. We don't even bother resummoning the Winged Rhinos for mysterious reasons. I, I guess we want to keep our hand large for the Trag, maybe? I guess. We get we get end phase dusted. And now we go Offerings to the Doom, clear the tree. I guess we're just going to try to go for game here. All right, good goblin housekeeping. But yeah, that's just a dupe, so I don't know... That didn't really seem like a great plan, I'm not going to lie. We're going to Needle Sealing everything, which is going to make the Doom Frog miss timing. We're going to try to Wing Rhinos, but they have Threatening Roar. That kind of tells us they don't have Gores, though. Um, we flip Mask of Restrict, they have Smashing. We don't have a way to keep our Winged Rhinos alive, unfortunate. Opponent's going for the Substitute. I think we kind of really want a Torrential at this point. Nope, they, they got Greedy. They got Greedy, and we Torrential. Um, all right. Okay, so we torrential on the junk effect just to make sure that we get rid of the junk and the dupe misses timing, and they just end up with a swap. Now we're going to Reckless. They go for Miracle Fusion. I guess... Oh, we have Crow to stop Miracle Fusion. Did they not have another hero? Oh my god, they didn't. That's so good. That is so good for us. They're going to hit him with both, but we have Gores, and that's pretty bad for them. That is, that is indeed very bad for them. In fact, it is so bad that the game is now over. All right. Game number three, then. Our hand kind of sucks. Like, this is not fantastic. <laughs> we set everything. Okay, they attack. We go deep prison. Yeah, I guess we can't find our way to chain link whatever. All right, chain link one sub, chain link two. We could go chain link three reckless. And then chain link four accumulated fortune. So we managed to resolve our stuff. Neat. All right, we go chain link one gadget. Wait, did they they forgot to add? Did they forget to add the red gadget? Oh no, oh no, bro, you gotta add the red gadget. Why didn't you add the red gadget? Oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. He forgot to get his gadget. All right, well they, they they've cleared the field. Hopefully, I guess it might not matter because we just got another gadget, so we're still just gonna be summoning one gadget every turn. But uh, I don't know. We can clear the ocean. We can clear the ocean. Not going to set the accumulated let yet because there's kind of no point. What is this back row? This is Dust Tornado. Oh my god, at this point you definitely know. You definitely know it's Dust Tornado and they, they can't clear it. So just don't set anything and they can not never treeborn again. They draw another Dust Tornado. <laughs> oh, you screwed yourself, Frog Player. Next up, we have another high-rated match. This time um, up against a pretty interesting one. Uh, which is a first place Morphtronic list, and um, the guy piloting it really wants us to know that he got first place with his Morphtronic list, as you can see. Uh, so it looks like, what, we're just going to summon Fortress, summon Remotin, add another Remotin? Okay. This hand kind of sucked. I'm not going to... I feel like, yeah, they did the best play, honestly, but it was, like, not good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so they're going to summon Lila, kill the back row, Synchro for Arcanite. That's pretty cool. They got all the three tuners, and they can just make Arcanite with Lila. All right. I can see it. I can dig it. They're going to kill our Dandelion. <laughs> okay, that's kind of not good. Are we going to use the other counter to pop one? No, we're not. The only reason you would do that is, like, if you fear Brain Mind or something, I guess. All right. Now we're, we're cooking, though. We're going for the Selfon. The Selfon is going to hit Scopin. The Scopin can let us special out the Slingin if we want to do that, which we are going to do. We're going to attack directly with everything. At this point, we're actually playing around Gores really well because we can just pop main two with the Slingin and the Arcanite. Are we going to drop it? We are. So Slingin, probably just going to tribute... Oh, the Selfon? Okay. I guess we can always search another Selfon anyway, and it's it's liable to get outed no matter what. So they go into Urbellum. Urbellum? I mean, why not, like, defense mode AFD or something? 
I, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I'm assuming what their level 7 lineup is, but I feel like in Morphtronics you play all of them. Probably. So here we are searching the other cell phone as, uh, as was predicted. We're going to summon another fortress. This isn't even lethal. I don't know if that was worth it. I feel like you could have just held on to that cell phone, maybe. Well, we are drawing Avarice. That's, that's pretty solid. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good top. Why do quick draw players always top deck Avarice? Always, 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 always. Okay, we set. We pass. We're going to search another cell phone because the remote and didn't die. Actually, maybe should have just like crashed the dandy into the remote. And I guess you feel like you're in danger of dying if you do that. They get slinging. All right, we scoop. We scoop. It's over. Go into game number two. Morphtronic's best deck. What can I say? Looks like they sided into um, Dyna. It also looks like they're on Hamster, Ryko, Avarice. So it's kind of like it's kind of like the Machina Light Sworn deck, but with Morphtronics mixed in. Still might be better than Roids, honestly. <laughs> Possibly, I'm thinking that it might be better than Roids. All right. Well, we're going to bring out a Fortress, try to attack over. Unfortunately, that eats a deep prison, but they have a follow-up Avarice, and they can set Fossil Dino, which outs the entire field. The main issue is the Fossil Dino is going to get Caius here. Just 100%. Yeah, okay, okay. And that's 5,200 to the face, so I think we are going to be going to game number three. Dang, they tried. They almost had it. They almost had it, but not quite. Not quite going to work out for us there. All right, game number three. We're on Kaiku. What? Oh, God, I hate Kaiku so much. What? This isn't even, like, Vayu or Frogs. Or it's just, like, why are you even on Vi or Kaiku here? What does it do? What, what does it actually do? They have no, like, graveyard resources whatsoever. They, they're not even going to let you hit with the Kaiku, I guess. But even if you did hit with the Kaiku, I get, what would it even... Could get rid of Fortress, I guess? And then they wouldn't be able to gear frame search force special it that would be that would be all right i guess but as always kaiku fails to connect so <laughs> who could have predicted opponent's gonna go summon gear frame attack no they're gonna special out the fortress they're just going for it they're just going for it but i think um without an out to drill warrior it kind of seems like that this game is very over at least they have that back row to kind of bluff here we're gonna banish summon Caius, get rid of the fortress attack for big damage okay now they're gonna bring out another four wait they're out of forces they only play one force maybe okay i guess they, i guess they just play one force and it's well in that case this game is super double over i don't know there's like no way we're winning there's, there's just no way i think we just die here we don't have we don't have any yeah we're just dead here all right that was the first place best morphtronic deck out there I don't know, a little bit weird. Final match, we have some dude taking some inspiration from from the great me and playing Ultimate Offering Frogs, uh, or Ultimate Offering Monster Mash Frogs, I should say. Um, yeah, this was a pretty cool build. I basically just took, like, Ryanide's Frog deck and then turned it into Monster Mash and added Ultimate Offering. I figured out that Dimitri actually has a list that's, like, Ultimate Offering Frogs, but not Monster Mash. So I might try that one out at some point, too, because that seems like a pretty cool idea to me. Because um, I think, like, the Ultimate Offering Sphere Junk... I mean, it would still work, right? And it's still super crazy. You could just, like, play it in a regular Frog deck. I'm actually, like, pretty... I'm, I'm, I haven't played it a whole lot, but I feel like that could be a pretty good, like, legitimate potential competitor there. So I might have to try that out on the channel at some point as well. The great thing about these What Are They Cooking videos is it always gives me ideas for stuff. Um, so anyway, the opponent gets completely, absolutely obliterated by Battle Fader when they um, they perhaps should have just run over Archaeus, but I guess they didn't know. They didn't know, and now they are getting punished. That being said, I mean, we still got a fair deal of big dudes to deal with, but we got a lot of cards to do it with. We got another Battle Fader or two, so there's just like no way we're dying at any point here. We're going to try to drop that Machina Fortress, however. It's going to eat a bottomless trap hole. So, I mean, I guess they're in the clear for another turn. They go Brianak on the back row. They summon Deep Sea Diva. They mess up their attack. Or why not just hit with this first over this one? How much damage would that have been, actually? One, two, three, four, five. This is literally a 5,000 attack absolute zero. You could have done 4K damage for free. But whatever. We're going to drop Fader. 
And is this where we make our, our comeback? This is where we poke for 400 with Uni. Okay. Well, we're going to go into double dupe now. Why do we tribute the sub, actually? The sub literally makes our double dupe stronger. I don't know. They draw another... Wait. They could have just miracled again to out our double dupe. And then, like, gone for game and won. Right? That was definitely definitely lethal. Why didn't they do that? Why why did they not opponent? My guy, opponent. People always do this, man. People always do this shit. Why did they do this shit? All right, whatever. Whatever. There's still hope. There's still hope for the opponent. I believe that they can I don't believe. I do not. I I I've lost faith. We're going to bring back the Fortress. I mean, either way, we're kind of losing both our monsters there, so it doesn't matter whether we equip or don't equip. We can just we can keep summoning. We have Ultimate Offering. We can summon this. We can bounce our own guy. Do we summon it again? No, we just special out Fortress again. Why don't we use Ultimate Offering and... Oh, are we, we're just out of... We're just out of machines. Huh? We're out of search targets. Okay. Well, in that case, fine. Makes sense. Uh, they set Typhoon... All right, presumably they're just going to chain in on our attack declaration. No, they're just going to forget to do that, and then they're going to try to drop Gores when they have a back row. Opponent! Opponent, please. Please. Please, opponent. What are you doing? Okay, does shoot. Wow, our hand's insane. They took the wrong card. The... the they... The, what? They just, like, blatantly... All right, I mean, maybe there's no right card. They, they actually just scoop. <laughs> they actually just scoop. Ugh. Well, I mean, they see what's happening, right? Heavy Storm, summon this thing. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We, we just, like, Heavy Storm summon Vanity's Fiend, actually. That seems like the play that just wins us the game. What do they do from there? Nothing. All right, well, that was a somewhat anticlimactic ending, but... As always, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. I will see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.